just like me, Mr. Media. Hey, when did the TV show Cops become such a piece of irrefutable Americana? Well, probably when the first bar of Bad Boys played back in 1988. It was the original docu-reality series when it debuted on Fox more than 20 years ago and took viewers for their first ride-along with the men and women of America's big city and small-town police departments. One minute, it was a thrill ride. The next, a fall-off-your-seat laugh riot. The things these bad boys did. And now, as the show enters its 21st season, the next generation of producers is stepping up. Morgan Langley, son of Cop's original producer, John Langley, joined the show as a production assistant and has risen to become a producer of this show and many other reality-based series produced by the family. Morgan, welcome to Mr. Media. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How about yourself? Excellent. Yeah, I, I've got to ask you, you're, you're a pretty young man. I'm, what is your first memory of discovering your dad's cops universe? <laughs> well, you know, I was always fascinated by, uh, by crime and punishment on TV. And um, I first became aware that my dad was doing um, this, this crime and punishment television show that was completely different from anything I'd ever seen. And, and I've got to tell you the truth. When I first saw the very first episode of Cops, I didn't know quite what to think of it. It was so different from anything that had been on television that, um, you know, I think a lot of viewers felt that way in the beginning. It was just, it was just utterly different at the time. So, and, you know, luckily it, it caught on and was well received and here we are today. So. And did you always want to come into the family business or did you have other ambitions early on? No, you know, I've, I've always been interested in communications and in, um, you know, in, in storytelling and stuff like that. So uh, it was a it was an easy natural fit for me, and and it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a, a you know great ride. Are there other family members involved? Uh, I have a cousin who um, who works in the field a lot on cops, and he's been doing that with us as well for a number of years. And it's great to have a you know another family member out there as well. Now, your your uh, your dad, uh, John, um, for for a guy who's been producing a primetime show for twenty years, we know so little about him. What is he like? What 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 drives the man? Yeah, you know, he he doesn't do a lot of press. Um, he doesn't do a lot of interviews. But I think he, um, you know, he's my dad's a great guy. He's great to work with. He's um, he's. He's easy to work with. I think I came in at the right time in the in the early days. I don't know if we could have worked together, <laughs> close in age. But but um, he uh, you know he loves TV. He, he loves he loves the work he does, and, and uh, you know we get along well, so it works. And uh, as you got involved in the show, what what surprised you the most about the the, the way it's produced and the way it comes together? This is a hard show to do, and, and I'm not just saying that. Um, you know, it's a lot of the hard work isn't isn't mine. A lot of the hard work is, you know, we've got amazing you know, crews out there. We've got 14 crews working this thing at any given time, <clears throat> all across the country, and um, it's it's very tough because we don't we don't recreate anything. We we never we never fake anything or simulate anything. So. Because of that, you've really got to grind this thing out. And our crews are working 10-hour days, uh, usually Tuesday through Saturday, in the back of a police car, um, and they stay eight weeks in each city. Uh, that's that's a tremendous amount of work. Uh, it, it's a really tough tough job, and um, and the turnover rate is pretty high. I mean, we've got guys who've been doing it for 20 years. On the other hand, a lot of people, you know, they can't stand to do that kind of work for more than you know, one or two seasons. So, I remember years ago uh, as a young reporter that I, I, I did an eight-hour shift with the um, chief of police in a small beach town, and literally seven hours and fifty minutes went by and nothing happened. And then, <laughs> and then there was there was a convenience store robbery with a gun, and the poor guy just went uh, eight. You know what? And uh, we he jumped in the, in the squad car, took off, and, and the, they were leaving, and he, and he chased them, and we're doing like 80 miles an hour on this beach town. And then when it was all over, he finally said to me, you know, what it really comes down to is seven hours and 55 minutes of sheer boredom and five minutes of sheer terror. <laughs> right? No, I think that's it. And, and the ratio of, of, you know, hours 
shot to to actual actual arable footage is is you know is almost ridiculous. We've got to shoot. I'd say that <clears throat> if we've got a crew out there in your average city, and they work all week long, that you know the ten hour day, uh, five days a week, that they uh, out of all the stuff they shoot, they might get one arable seven minute story. And it's, it shows it's it's harder and harder to do over the years because the nature of law enforcement has changed. They're they're, they're a little bit less proactive than they used to be. Um, mm-hmm. They're a little bit more afraid of of lawsuits. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and you, there's different ways to look at that. I mean, maybe they've become more professional. Um, on the other hand, you don't you know you don't want your cops to get uh, to have their hands tied. So it's mm-hmm. It's interesting. It's an interesting issue. Well, I know this issue, this question comes up a lot, but so your crew goes out with the police and they're filming people doing bad stuff, getting arrested. Why do all these men and women who are getting arrested agree to be photog- broadcast? I mean, they, they still have to sign some release of some sort, don't they? <laughs> you know, I, I, it's, it's just a phenomenon. I wish I had a, a great answer for that, but we've just seen over the years that uh, um, – People want to be on television. They want to appear on Cops, and it, it's it, it's very unusual for somebody to uh, to turn us down and to say, uh, no, I'm not going to sign that release. Most people, they find out that it's the Cops television show, and 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 for whatever reason, uh, you know, they're willing to participate. So, have you guys ever tracked the conviction rate of the people who've been photographed? Yeah, I and mean, it would you know that would be a probably a full time job. <laughs> <laughs> with the amount of shows that we do. So. Well, one more thing I just wanted to ask you before we have to let you go. What about the cops themselves? Do, you, do your crews run into, you know, hard asses now and then who do not want to participate even if their boss has told them that they should or they have to? Well, listen, we're, we're not going to force somebody to participate. Um, there are plenty of officers out there who, who are willing to participate. And, and honestly, it takes a certain kind of person, a certain kind of officer to... Um, to want to be on the on the program because we really need you know we, we don't have a narrator so we really need an officer who who is a great talker articulate who you know loves the job you could be a, a great cop you know really a great cop and not be right for our television show because you're not a talkative kind of person mm. so you know if if guys don't want to appear they they, they may have all kinds of different reasons for that but we're not going to twist their arm or anything so well, uh, folks, listen, Cops, as pretty much everyone who has a television knows, airs every Saturday night at 8 p.m. on Fox. Uh, and uh, is, is tonight, is uh, the Saturday, is it the season premiere? It premiered last week. So, uh, premiered last week, I'm sorry. Just, just got going now. So there's, uh, we've got, you know, 35 more episodes out there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, <laughs> and you can catch uh, episodes you miss at uh, fox.com and certainly visit the show's website, which is www.copscops.com. Morgan, uh, thanks so much for joining us on Mr. Media today. Uh, thank you. Pleasure talking to you. Um, and, folks, for uh, more interviews with your favorite Fox stars, you can surf over to our main website, www.mrmedia.com. That's where you can listen to my earlier conversations with the stars of Lie to Me, Hell's Kitchen, So You Think You Can Dance, and many more. And please think about writing an online review of Mr. Media, casting a vote for Mr. Media, or marking Mr. Media as one of your favorites. Whether you listen on Blog Talk Radio, True Slant, Pointer Online, Digital Journal, Vox, Mediafly, Podfeed.net, Blueberry, Zencast, Zimbio, Current, or Odeo. Subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. Or subscribe to Mr. Media's blog on the Amazon Kindle Reader. You can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at bob at andelman.com. That's A-N-D-E-L-M-A-N. You can also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash andelman. Thanks so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you sharing a piece of your day with Mr. Media.